Welcome back to 30 Days to Learn Photoshop. This is the final day, day 30, shortcuts and performance. My name is Ben Gribbin and in today's lesson, we're going to find sources of shortcut cheat sheets and also we're going to look at how to improve Photoshop's performance. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to a website called morrisphotographics.com. So the address is morris-photographics.com forward slash Photoshop forward slash shortcuts. Now on this site you will find a load of cheat sheets for all the different shortcuts that Photoshop has and there are lots. And also quite handily you've got dating back to 2000, July 2000 or Photoshop edition 5. Um, the first Mac ones are from 2005 onwards so there's all the different versions from way back to 2000 so it should be pretty well covered. All you need to do is, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, click on the cheat sheet that you require and these cheat sheets have basically every shortcut there is in Photoshop. Now there's a lot, a, a large amount of shortcuts so you, it's unlikely you're going to be able to learn every single one but you could keep this as a reference and make sure you refer to it. A bit more of a visual reference can be found on Smashing Magazine will display the URL along the bottom because on this reference you actually have a sort of keyboard broken down into a keyboard of all the different tools where everything is and it's a little bit handier now you could probably buy a vinyl cover for some keyboards with this on but this is sort of the same kind of thing but you could just print this out keep it handy and you can reference all the different tools what you need to press it tells you what the different colors and things along the top reference too. So that's how you can make sure you keep well on top of shortcuts because they do severely increase the amount of time you spend if you don't use shortcuts. So shortcuts just make your workflow a lot faster. Now one thing you're going to want to do is as well go to this website makephotoshopfaster.com and this helps increase the efficiency of how Photoshop works. It makes it faster, makes it a lot quicker. So there's two different settings you need to change. So go to your preferences menu. On a Mac it's under the Photoshop menu and on PC it'll be under file or edit. Go to preferences, go to performance and you need to change your history states and cache levels. Go back to the website and just input the following. Put 20 history states and one cache level and that will help you be able to speed up the whole process. We've got currently 10, 20 history states. So if we change that back down to 10 and we put cache levels to one, that will just help overall speed up Photoshop and it'll make it a lot quicker, a lot more speedy. You can also change the amount of memory you're willing to donate or dedicate to Photoshop when it's open. So you can see here we've got basically 4 gig of RAM. We've got an ideal range here between 2049 and 2683. So set it wherever you are able to do so. Uh, the more you can give it, the more speedier Photoshop will actually run. So that's just something to bear in mind. Um, and it might be worth possibly considering a RAM upgrade if you want to make Photoshop run a lot quicker and more efficiently. And these changes won't take effect until the next time you open up Photoshop. So after you've done this, press OK, close down Photoshop, and then reboot it, and your changes will have taken place. So that's the first part of the performance. Then you want to go on to Preferences, File Handling, File Handling, Image Previews, and Never Save. So Photoshop, Preferences, File Handling, Image Previews. Here we've always save on ours so we want to turn that to never save and append file extension is fine all of those are fine so if we then went to close photoshop and we waited for it to close down when we rebooted photoshop it will run a lot quicker and a lot faster so what we learned in today's lesson well we've looked at keyboard shortcut references for photoshop uh, in other words, cheat sheets, and also how to make Photoshop perform faster. And your task for this lesson is to input settings from makephotoshopfaster.com into your Photoshop installation. 
Next time on 30 Days to Learn Photoshop, we're going to conclude the course. Thanks for listening.